For more information on tutoring or how to support MOOF University and the production of more videos, please visit MOOFUniversity.com. Thank you and enjoy. So, atoms with more than one electron are referred to as many electron atoms, multi electron atoms, and poly electronic atoms. They all mean the same thing. Okay, point is that they have more than just one electron. Now, if you recall, the orbital energies in the hydrogen atom, so long as the principal quantum number was the same, all of the orbitals at that energy level had the same energy, right? The 3s, 3p, 3d, all the same energy. The 2s and the 2p had the same energy. If I had showed the, the 4s, 4p, 4d, and 4f, they would have all been at the same energy level. Okay. That's in the hydrogen atom, though. That's a specific case. And if we're talking about the electron configuration, um, which is something that we'll talk about later, um, of the ground state hydrogen atom, it just has an electron in the 1s orbital like that. And that's it. But this situation is entirely different in atoms that have more than just one electron. The orbital energies in many electron atoms are kind of like this. We have the 1s orbital and then is, is down here. 2s orbital is higher in energy. The 2p orbital is higher than that in energy. Then there's the 3s orbital. Then there's the 3p orbital. Then there's the 4s orbital. And then there's the 3d orbital that's a little bit higher in energy than the 4s orbital. So what's going on here? The idea here, though, is that it's not just the principal quantum number that's important in terms of determining the energy level of that orbital. Okay. Because otherwise, it would, it wouldn't, you would see the case where you saw in the hydrogen atom, where if you, if you have the same principal quantum number, you're at the same energy level. That's not the case. So what's the reason for this? The reason for this is this is due to, to shielding and effective nuclear charge. And so, so basically what happens here is that not only is the main shell, right, the, the principal quantum number or, L val or N value, excuse me, related to energy, but the subshell is is related to energy as well. Okay. So we already know that as n increases, the energy of the orbital increases, but in addition to that, as the L value increases, the energy increases as well. Right. We see that here, and that's again due to the effective nuclear charge that we mentioned in the previous video, right? The S orbitals have lower energy than the P, which have lower energy than the D, and lower energy than the F. So the F orbitals are the highest in energy. And that's because of the effective nuclear charge differences, which we talked about in the previous video. So now, you'll notice here that I didn't really put all of the orbitals in this energy diagram. So the others are kind of listed here. So we go from 1s, we already mentioned that we go from 1s to 2s, put this in a different color, let's do this. So 1s, then it goes to 2s, then there's 2p, then there's 3s, then there's 3p, then there's 4s, and then there's 3d. And then, what happens after that? Well, the order is actually shown down here. So we go from 1s to 2s to 2p to 3s to 3p to 4s to 3d to 4p to 5s to 4d to 5p. 6s, 4f, 5d, 6p, 7s, 5f, 6d, 7p, and so on. So do we need to know this order? The answer is yes. Is this how we have to memorize it? Not exactly. There are ways to rem remember this. Um, and we'll actually see more about that later, because this is the order in which the orbitals are actually filled with electrons. Okay. So that is that concept or that idea, that topic, is called electron configurations. And that will be covered in the next series. So I hope that video was helpful. Thank you for watching. If you found that video helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with friends. Thank you, and happy studying.